hello friends welcome back to my channel again so today i am with another passing strategy for the subject introduction to civil engineering which is for the first and second some students uh, especially for the vtu students okay subject code is bsck 104a that is for first semester fourth subject and uh, second semester fourth sub subject okay so uh, in this video i want to try to discuss about some passing hacks and uh, as you already know, a syllabus is very vast for this particular subject that is uh, civil engineering. This time, Meteo has added a lot of syllabus in this particular subject. In the uh, 18th scheme, if we ever, then it was not uh, that much. Okay. So, in this video, uh, let me tell you, my dear friends, which uh, one is the important module, which is the passing module over there. So, uh, first of all, we will try to understand the questions from the uh, module. First, we will try to give the importance to the questions which will be probably in the examination. So it is chapter name is uh, civil engineering disciplines and building science. So my dear friends, first of all, let me tell you this module first is the passing module. You have to focus on the theory theory part. Actually, it is the theory over there that is uh, introduction to civil engineering. This time, uh, actually three chapters. The module first contains three chapters. If we uh, consider the 2018 scheme, it was only two chapters over there. So this time they have added one more over there. So first of all, introduction to civil engineering, you have to focus on explain scope of following branches of civil engineering like structural engineering, construction planning and project management, structural engineering, geotechnical engineering and uh, transportation engineering, environmental and hydraulics and water resource engineering. So you have to focus on this, these six uh, types of uh, in civil engineering uh, branches over there. So this may be definite question over there. They will ask two uh, definitely among these six. Okay, it will uh, carry 10 marks over there. You have to focus on theory part. You don't have to leave anything from this module as it is a passing module. Okay. So next one is basic materials of construction like bricks, cement and mortars. Uh, press, uh, pre-stressed concrete over there so my dear friends try to understand these concepts in your own language so that it will be easy for you uh, to write the examination uh, in the examination you will write uh, by your own words okay if you uh, if you understand these concepts in your own language what whichever may be the convenient convenient for you people either it may be Kannada, it may be hindi it may be english okay uh, next one is the masonry wall and staircase column beam okay these are the concepts which you have to cover from the module first my dear friends so that it will be easy for you people to conquer 20 marks in this module first then comes up the module second it contains uh, three chapters also first one is the infra infrastructure from the infra uh, infrastructure part you have to focus on the sustainable development they may give you the definition about the sustain sustainable development and they will tell you right it is goals also okay so next one is smart city concept clean city concept and safe city concept okay so next one comes up second chapter of this uh, particular module is environment like water supply urban air pollution management solid waste management urban flood control so my dear friends these are just easier concepts if you just try to understand these concepts in your own language it will be very easy for you people to write the examination for these concepts okay you can write by your own words just write down the paper and uh, try to what we call fill the papers at least 30 pages for this particular subject as it is a theory concepts or word there then built environment like sound control in buildings recycling smart buildings and security systems just focus on these concepts uh, this much is enough for the module second as you already know vast syllabus is there for this subject so only cover this much you will easily score also in this particular module then module 5 comes up so these uh, two modules were the uh, passing modules and also this one is the passing module but it is according to your choice my dear friend actually there are some problems if you are weak in problems then you have to focus only on theory you can easily pass this subject by theory only but if you want to score you have to focus on the problems also so first of all in the module first uh, derive an expression to locate uh, the moment of inertia of a triangle and sometimes they will give you derive an expression to uh, locate the moment of inertia of circle over there so focus on these two parts one one is the triangle and another one is a circle so you have to locate the moment of inertia then try some problems on this basis when you derive the expression definitely you will come to know how to tackle the problems from this you have to use those problems uh, in this particular module okay then uh, most important question is parallel axis theorem and perpendicular axis theorem definitely uh, among these two they will ask one as far as 2018 scheme is concerned to, uh, so these questions were always asking in the VTU examination so definitely they will ask uh, this time also 
parallel axis to arm perpendicular axis to as you are the batch you are uh, you are the first batch writing write this uh, particular subject as the video has changed the whole uh, what we call as subject codes uh, some contents were there they have deleted some content and they have inserted some content okay so next one is the module 3 in the module 3 most frequently asked question is state and prove parallelogram law of forces next one is the explain the basic idealizations in engineering mechanics like continuum body free body like that you have to go through this theory concept that is basic idealizations in engineering mechanics then determine the resultant of a given system of forces so it is a very easy concept it is a 12th basic concept you can easily tackle this just uh, resolve some forces like uh, cos theta f cos theta f sin theta like that you have to uh, find the resultant okay uh, so they will give you the problems also suppose they will uh, tell you the determine the resultant of a given system of forces uh, forces will be given so you have to find out the resultant okay so it is a very easy concept to go through go through the model question paper also try some problems over there next one is the Varignan's theorem okay it is the most important question also and uh, focus on the free body diagrams if you uh, try to cover this free body diagram also it will be easy for you uh, to cover the problems also over there and uh, write down the equations of the equilibrium so this much uh, content is enough for the module third if you see your syllabus you will just uh, just recognize that how much syllabus is there it is not possible for an engineering student to cover all those concepts just because of load of internals load of assignments load of record books so uh, if you cover these type of topics uh, so write down in your a4 sheet give the importance to the questions and write down these so it will be easy for you to cover this uh, particular subject next one is the module 4 which is the centroid in this uh, only one chapter is there that is centroid if you want to score also in this it is a problematic uh, module my dear friends so go through the centroid problems try to learn importance of centroid center of gravity methods of determining the centroid and uh, one derivation is there the, uh, sorry two derivations that is uh, derive an expression to locate the centroid of rectangle and semicircle definitely they will ask one among them so there are an expression to locate the centroid of rectangle semicircle so this is the passing uh, capsule for you people so just to go through this much syllabus so that you will easily score you can easily score uh, 80 to 90 marks by this portion my dear friends no need to go deep in the what we call a syllabus over there no need to take a dive over there so i think uh, this is enough content so that you will easily pass if you are weak in theory so my dear friends i will just give you one opinion over here make some uh, groups of friends over there and try to discuss these theory concepts so that it will be easy for you people to remember uh, and memorize these theory concepts over there these are very simple one okay so i hope this uh, video is beneficial for you people so make sure you will share it with your batchmates so that they can also conquer this subject with ease over there thank you for watching my video